Hey, what's going on? My name is Antoine and welcome to another video on the channel. In today's video, we have something different than usual from the last five or six uh, fixed videos uh, for iPhones, but uh, I have done this in the past with uh, jailbreak discussions and tutorials, but let's change it today because we have the new iPhone SE 2020 from Apple and I, I would like to uh, share with you my thoughts about this phone and a couple of hardware and board view stuff we will see in this video. So I would like to, sh to start with some specification of this phone, which is obvious. Most likely everybody knows it. Uh, it's basically an iPhone 8 body with an upgraded memory and processor, the A13 Bionic chip, uh, lots to love, less to spend. That reminds me of an old iPod, I guess the third generation or the second generation. Anyways, the A13 Bionic chip and one gigabyte RAM extra, that means three gigabytes of RAM for this little guy. And the new camera, of course, with a starting price of 400 bucks. Let's click buy and see the price. And of course, I will not going to talk about the price and also I cannot order the phone for now because there's no Apple authorized seller or Apple store in my country. And if I want to order it online, it will cost even more. And for now, I'm not ready to spend that kind of money on it. So I've said, why not to share with my thoughts on this phone, but from inside. And even I don't have it, we'll see the videos and also the iFixit teardown. And uh, we'll see. Yeah. Second, let's talk about the compare specs and what, the, what is the same between the iPhone 8 and the iPhone SE. So let's go to the site called GSM Arena. I will put it down in the description so you can check it out by yourself. And let's uh, take the iPhone 8 and the iPhone SE. And let's start with the body. The body is the same as the iPhone 8. So you just don't have to check it. Uh, there is uh, something over here, which is the SIM. The iPhone 8 has the Nano SIM and the iPhone SE maybe got the eSIM. We'll also check this uh, later uh, in the site. And let's go now to the display. The display uh, has also the same display. You can put an iPhone SE display to the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 8 to the iPhone SE. But there is one thing, which is the 3D touch. The iPhone SE screen does not have a 3D touch. So I'm gonna uh, show you a couple of photos uh, from this uh, guy called L0 Vito Dream. Shout out to this guy who uh, posted a lot of photos, uh, actually early photos of the teardown of the iPhone SE. You can check uh, his uh, Twitter page and follow him. I will also put this link down in the description. And let's go and as you can see, here is the iPhone head screen, which is the 3D touch. And go to the iPhone SE, which is the, which does not have a... Um, 3D touch, but I'm curious that if you can just take the um, the flex cable for the Touch ID from the iPhone 8 and put it in the iPhone SE, because it's not uh, just uh, connected together, that's, uh, that's a question you have to ask or you have to check uh, for those who are refurbishing the screens for the iPhones. Now, uh, let's go again to the comparing. Now the platforms has a little bit changing over here. You can see that the A13 Bionic chip is the new hexa-core uh, 2x 2.65 gigahertz lighting. And also the Apple GPU has four core graphics and uh, for the iPhone 8 has the three core graphics. Now the memory, you can see there is also a one gigabyte of RAM more for the iPhone SE, uh, but uh, uh, the most uh, capable uh, storage for the iPhone 8 is 256 and also 256 for the iPhone SE. Now the camera is a 12 megapixel, but uh, as Apple says that uh, is has a significant improving camera for uh, improved camera for the iPhone SE. So I think uh, has the same status, but, uh, but over here you can see the HDR and OIS and also stereo sound record which i guess the iphone 8 has it also but i don't know now for the camera selfie camera has also uh, the same flex camera you can also just 
if you want to change the flex uh, upper flex cable for the iPhone 8, you can take it from the iPhone SE or you can take from the iPhone 8 to the iPhone SE. It's no problem. Also for the sound, stereo speakers as before. Uh, I guess the uh, Wi-Fi has been changed over here. No, it's the same, but the Wi-Fi chip has been changed. I will also talk about the hardware components in this video uh, later. Now the battery is the same for the milliamps, but it's still uh, the same watts also, but uh, you cannot put an iPhone 8 battery to the iPhone SE and you cannot put a um, yeah, you cannot put iPhone 8 battery to the iPhone SE, so uh, that's a bad thing. But uh, all other components like the uh, upper flex cable or the uh, charging flex cable uh, or the speakers or the Taptic engine or the uh, bottoms flex, you can all just took it from the iPhone, just take from the iPhone 8 and put it in the iPhone SE and so on from the iPhone SE to the iPhone 8. It's not a problem. So this is for the a little uh, comparison between the iPhone 8 and iPhone SE. And now let's jump to the fun part with the board view. Now, first teardown I saw on YouTube is from a channel called uh, Winzo, oh, Winzo Technology, I guess. I translated it from Chinese uh, to English. Awesome teardown, by the way. You can check the video down. Uh, also, I'll put it, the link for the video down in the description. A huge amount of views also and uh, my main focus was on the main motherboard but uh, for me as a microcelder but the video didn't talk about uh, the board that much uh, and uh, I got a couple of photos a couple of screenshots for it uh, this photo says the um, difference between the iPhone 8 and the iPhone SE with the modem for the iPhone 8 has two models of the modems uh, one for the Qualcomm version and the other for the Intel version but uh, my guess is that the uh, is that Apple will put only the Intel chip modem for the iPhone SE it's more cheap and for uh, not getting trouble with the Qualcomm issues with the iPhone 7 now let's jump also here we are we have another uh, compare photo between the iPhone 8 and the iPhone SE here is the another photo and they didn't talk that much for the main board but uh, I waited for I fix it to make a teardown for it because they do uh, they focus also on the uh, main board and they've done an awesome job uh, to explain the board and but they did not uh, upload a video on YouTube for it but they uploaded a video for the uh, first look. But now let's go to the website and see. Let's see what we have here. This is the fun part for me. And let's jump for the A13 chip. And as you can see, as I said before, that the uh, iPhone SE will get, um, I mean like 90% uh, for me as a guess, uh, the Intel version modem and here i guess is the audio amplifier let's go over here the service ic's i'm not gonna focus on those one here's the main board as i said i fix it do a very very good job for scanning the board and now let's go to the other side which is the fun part and here comes the, a lot of changes now, first is the Wi-Fi chip came from, uh, comes from the iPhone 11, uh, 11 Pro, which, uh, which is a very huge change uh, between the iPhone 8 and the iPhone SE. The IC control management, uh, PMU, also came, uh, comes from the iPhone 11. Now, the audio codec comes from the iPhone 8, but as you can see, uh, the hold of the audio codec is basically like the iPhone 7. So I'm wondering if it also will got the uh, iPhone 7 audio code problem or not. Uh, I would like to hear, uh, hear from you uh, your thoughts about this uh, audio codec chip and with, uh, where Apple is placed the chip. 
in down in down in the comments. Uh, but I guess Apple made the material of the board uh, better from the iPhone 7, but we'll see uh, at the time. And here we are, I guess this is the uh, flash memory, which it comes to 256 gigabytes maximum. I guess I uh, also uh, watched a video for Gilon to make it, to upgrade it to uh, the 512 mega, uh, gigabytes, I guess, for the flash memory. And as I said, those the, are the big changes for the ICs, the um, PMU, the Wi-Fi, and also the modem is a very uh, special modem for the phone. But anyways, uh, that's it for the board, I guess. My main, uh, my main uh, uh, discuss is for the audio codec. Uh, I hope Apple made a better job for the board. Uh, to make it even stronger in that area to not get the audio codec problems also for the iPhone SE but who knows for those who uh, bought the iPhone SE we'll see in the time and first content on, my, on the channel and I also would like uh, to know your thoughts about this phone and for those who uh, know how to micro soldering uh, also would like to know the thoughts about uh, this uh, board and how it will affect the uh, fix of this board and i guess yeah that's it all the links that i've showed you in this video I'll put it down in the description and i know it's a different video uh, from the content on the channel but uh, i would like to try it and uh, see your uh, thoughts about this video so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and uh, as always uh, stay healthy and uh, yeah that's it for this video, here's Antoine saying to you peace out.